Now let's take a case of someone who's been dealt a bad hand. What about Fräulein Freisel in Austria, whose father, unwilling to get out of the way, kept her in a dungeon where she didn't see daylight for 24 years and came down most nights to rape and sodomize her, often in front of the children who were the victims of the previous attacks and offenses. And it's only purely by accident that uh, Herr Freisel is now in custody. And it's a shame that he's 76 because his life imprisonment isn't going to feel enough like that to him. I want you to just think, take a moment, since we're so interested in the downtrodden and the helpless. Imagine how she must have begged him. Imagine how she must have pleaded. Imagine for how long. Imagine how she must have prayed every day, how she must have beseeched heaven. Imagine, for 24 years, and no, no answer at all, nothing, nothing. Imagine how those children must have felt. Imagine what, what they felt when they saw one of them, one of their number, the dead twin, being borne away from neglect on top of everything else. Now, you say that's all right that she went through that because she'll get a better deal in another life. Are you, I have to ask you, if you, if you can be morally or ethically serious and postulate such a question. No, that had to happen. And heaven did watch it with indifference because it knows that that score will later on be settled. So it was well worth the going through it. She'll have a better time next time. I don't see how you can look anyone, anyone in the face or live with yourself and say anything so hideously, wickedly immoral as that. Or even